Take 78, action. Hello guys. Uh, hello YouTube. Hello internet. Hello world. Uh, start 2015. Everyone's sticking out in the collections. Show what they've got. Show what they've got at the start of the year. Uh, love watching everyone's videos. So that'll stick mine up. And I'm tempted to do a probably pointless but potentially pleasing reshuffle. As if you can see, I've got them in rows. There's a Marvel row, DC, 2000 AD, Vertigo, and I'm tempted to stick them in columns, lumps. Instead of rows, but who knows? We'll have to wait till next year to see if I've done that. Uh, um, right, where to start? Right, got these little books at the top. They're mainly there due to the size, so that's not a good place to start, but I will anyway. Um, so that's the kind of guy I am. We've got. Oh, History of 2000 AD, Super Gods, Grant Morrison, little thing about Alan Moore, um, Mike Kerry book, uh, prose novel, uh, The Girl with All the Gifts, I recommend that if anyone likes Walking Dead or post-apocalyptic kind of things. Um, Dilbert and Life is Hell, Matt Gronin. So there's that's a little uh, newspaper. Callum section, Brian Wood. A couple of books about numbers there for no reason. Uh, true Brit, British thing, all the uh, commando, well, the stories about the commando in yeah. here. Uh, Templar, highly recommend that. It's a little first, second section. Orcs, that's also good. A uh, few random comic books. These are all uh, the reprints, little me graphic novellas uh, from 2000 AD. Uh, the Judge Dread ma magazine. Brian K. Vaughan's run on. Runaways, enjoyed that. Tiny manga section. I haven't really delved in the world of manga much. Uh, boom. Some quality stuff there. Cthulhu Tales. Enjoy them. Uh, Dark Horse. Vertigo. Uh, collection of severed heads there. Brian Lee O'Malley, Seconds, recommend that, that was what are we, 2014 recommendations, definitely. And some random books. Right, so where are we going to go? We'll start over here, start in the start. The start right? uh, Vertigo Shelf, Fables, Fairest. Jack the Fables, Cinderella, Great Art, Crazy Stories, Brian Wood, DMZ, Northlanders, Love Northlanders, uh, Exterminators, Great Little Story, Jason Aaron, on the side, Scout, everyone knows that's brilliant, Air, Army of Love, Madame Xanadu, Preacher, Everyone knows that, yeah. Then we've got a Hellblazer section. Still need loads of them. Got most of them, but still need at least f another ten or more at the end. And that ties into the Sandman universe. A bit of Sandman, books of magic, Sandman presents, Dead Boy Detectives, etc. Lucifer, brilliant, which goes into a Mike Carey section, 
Unwritten. Faker, good job, that's uh, enjoyable. Unwritten. Then Azarello, uh, 100 bullets, brilliant. Uh, really enjoyed that. Odds and sods from the Vertigo line. Yeah, moving on to Warren Ellis. Warren Ellis. Yeah, you gotta love that guy as well, Transmetropolitan. Punk Rock Jesus. Heavy Liquid. Sweet Tooth. And they've all been uh, drawn and written by the same people. And as you can see, they let them sign there, like a signature series. Good uh, design by Vertigo there. Yeah, something about the light in there. We've got Irredeemable, Mark Weird. Highly recommend that. Love that. The Boom collection. Um, and this goes into Garth Ennis. So his early stuff there, like uh, Troubled Souls, a few more Troubles, True Faith. Hitman, Hitman, The Boys, Battlefield, if you like, uh, if you like Commando, etc. from British Comics, that's it done right. Uh, crossed. And then we slip into a Mark Miller section. Love all that. Can't wait to see... Kingsman movie when that comes out. Brilliant. Uh, oh. Right, onto these. So we've got the yin and the yang of comic book writers. We've got the bald, Grant Morrison, the beard, on more. Some brilliant stuff there, you all know about them. Uh, Promethea, probably. My favourite ever. Closest you can get to a Ketman trip in comics. Uh, then we're going to 2000 AD. This is all about there. That's Judge Dredd, the Judge Dredd universe. Slain. The Celtic Warrior, brilliant. Some oversized Alvax don't want to go anywhere else. Why Last Man, brilliant. Ed Brubaker. Uh, criminal, all time favourite. Uh, then back to 2008 AD. Some classics. Nemesis the Warlock. Uh, some of Kevin O'Neill's best work there. Grew up with 2000 AD, that's really what got us into comics. I went the traditional 80s kid, British kids route of being or dandy and bang into 2000 AD. So these stories I grew up with, um, something like triple dipping, getting these collections, but they're great collections. Uh, Rogue Trooper, brilliant. Yeah. Tiny little Scott Snyder section there. Can't get, can't afford the third American Vampire hardback because it's just crazy prices for no reason. Uh, okay, I'm along some things I haven't got any room for at the minute. Some Wild Time, some Vertigo. And then just little books, ickle books, tiny little toy collection. I haven't got much. There's me and my ma. There's a, there's a bobby. Um, then boom, moving down. I've got the Batman, the Batman. Uh, you've seen all that. everyone has got them. Green Lantern, 
Moving into this DC event sort of thing and separate titles. Yeah, not much. New 52. The plan is when the new 52 becomes the old 52, Marvel now becomes Marvel then. I'll probably start buying them once everyone else has got their copy and bored of it. Uh, so, not much at the minute, but like I say, enjoy what I've read. Uh, moving into Dark Horse and licensed properties, extended universe kind of stuff. So, we've got Aliens, Terminator, that's actually a good one. Yeah, with a Twilight, recommend that. Um, Star Wars, a bit of Star Wars, <sighs> Hellboy. Got the first four of the library editions, Hellboy, but they don't fit on the shelves, unfortunately. The Goon, uh, somewhere, The Goon, yeah. Really enjoy that. Brilliant. The, uh, Eric Powell, an artist, man. Uh, right. This section just seems to be um, things with animals in the title. Gorillas, love that band. Elephant Man, Plague of Frogs, Raising for Dragons, um, White Llama, Humanoids, also animal themed. Don't ask me why. Right, Small but Deadly, Never Growing, Image Shelf. Um, uh, dead. Stagger Lee, highly recommend that. Uh, so that's about the the history behind the American folk ballad blues song Stagger Lee, which has been covered by like f f thousands of singers and bands. Um. Really interesting, really good story. And then we've got a little Hickman section, once more like that. Uh, and you can see, I've got a lot of number ones on this uh, image shelf because they're doing them so cheap and you just got to pick them up, don't you? got to try them out. Get you hooked, they know all they're crack. First, uh, first fix is cheap and then fucking you hooked. Phonogram, looking forward to that, looking forward to the third edition, third um, volume this year. Uh, Age of Bronze, that's brilliant, that's um, Eric Shannon, 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 Eric Shannon, who did the, the Oz omnibus that came out from Marvel. Uh, this is his take on uh, Holmes Iliad, um, the legend, the story of Troy. He says he's done loads of research on it. Um, highly, highly recommend that. Brilliant stuff. And slipping into this, again, more licensed stuff. IDW, Wildstorm. So got uh, 30 Days and Nights. Blah, 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 stuff like that, like things like that. Uh, Brian K. Vaughan, X Machine, I'm still collecting that. So you cut them out at the end. And we're going to the Marvel Raw. Marvel Zombies, Frank and Castle. See, Marvel, right? I've realised, I've come to realise, uh, I enjoy the Elseworld uh, alternate reality, alternate worlds stories far more than the continuous soap opera of the normal stuff, I don't know. So, Marvel Max, love all that. Old Man Logan, shit like that, you know. Um, pardon me, French. 
Uh, so that's uh, like say Wolverine, Spider Man, Ghost Rider. No particular order really. I don't know. This goes into more of the events. Marvel events. It was Civil War that got us into Marvel. Kept away from them before that. Uh, and then uh, we've got some Wolverine Origins there, Captain America, um, New Avengers, the Ultimate stuff, the Ultimate Universe, um, and then just random stuff that needed fitting in. Then the old, the British reprints, Panini reprints of. Marvel there. Right. And we've got some more Marvel here. The older stuff down here and the uh, licensed stuff. So Stephen King, um, Game of Thrones, uh, my Game of Thrones prequel sort of stuff there. George R. R. Martin. Uh, um, and then the older. Uh, older. Uh, DC stuff. Um, not down here for any reason, just an old, old feel. Straight bullets, did with that man. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Random stuff. Um, yeah, just random stuff. Spawn, start spawn. From the 90s, I suppose. Black Library, Games Workshop stuff, a lot of uh, Dan Abnett stuff there. Great artwork on some of these. And then some Guilty Press, some nice 80s uh, um, annuals. There we are. And then. Oh, the cream of the crop. I mean, forgot these. We've got uh, Will Eisner, brilliant. Joe Sacco, brilliant. Charles Byrne, Craig Thompson, uh, Mouse, of course. Want more by all these. They're all uh, great, great stuff. Great art, great work. So, some more autobiographical, autobiographical, is that the right word? Yeah, just can't see it. Okay, so vertical crime, a little bit of a crime section here. Um, vertical crime, how can you not love something called like a <laughs> vertical crime? Right, I'm starting to crack up, it's near the end. Uh, crime. Crime Noir, blah de blah. Little Ron E. Howard section here. So we've got Conan, Red Sonia, and then more licensed stuff. Uh, a few independent. Uh, right, I think that's a lot. I've talked way too long. But uh, thanks for watching. If there's anything you want us to uh, review or talk about, that'd be great. Like I say, love the uh, YouTube community. We're all 